Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you what lazy loading is. And we will also demonstrate the topic that we already learned that is deferred mode and immediate mode of execution. As these two things are interrelated. So let's say I have a grid view and I want to display all the departments, the page load. So we already implemented that. So the code is very simple. We add organization model. We create the object of organization entities. Then we say we dot departments. I get in result and I assign the result to data source. And I'm sure you know that this is deferred mode of execution. As we are not saying dot to list or dot to array or count so we are getting a query ready here and that query gets executed at the time we assign it to the grid view or we iterate through the loop say i have a loop and i'm iterating through the loop for each loop and it gets executed whenever i use the result to demonstrate that i'll just put a breakpoint here and execute Now, if you look at a window on the right, that is Intelli track. I click on this window. Now, this window I can get it from debug Intelli track, and I get calls or events. Now, I have Intelli track window. Now, this is the window that we use to examine our query and our flow. This is the new window that we got in Visual Studio 2010. Now I'll say F10. Again here, I'm going to create a query oe.tbl department and I'll say F10. If you observe in Intelli track, you won't find any query execution. Now, at the time of assigning the result to the grid view, it should execute a select query. I'll say F10. I'll say F10. If you observe in the Intelli track, we got a query that is select department ID, department name, HOD, gender, and active, etc. from so and so table. This query got executed at the time of data binding to the grid view. That means query does not get executed at this point. It gets executed whenever we are assigning it to the grid view. I'll say FI. So, whenever I assign the result to the grid view or whenever I am using the result, query gets executed. Now, I am using this result one more time. Now, if you observe in Intelli track, you have one more execute reader. So, this is called as your deferred mode. So, deferred mode of execution. So the alternate for this is making it an immediate mode. I'll say dot to list. So we are forcing it to execute the query here itself and it is going to use the result twice. In our earlier code, we saw that it was hitting the database two times. Whereas here it will hit the database only once. The F10. Now it should hit the database here. Now I get select query here. And it is not at all going to hit the database at the time of binding, neither at the time of iterations. You can see that we have only one select query. So this is your immediate mode. Now I have all the departments I have all the department listed now what I want is if I say search I should get all the employees of department whose department type is inactive like I want all the employees of QA if I click on active or if I check active and if I say search 
I should get all the employees belonging to development and testing and PDE, like the departments which are active. So I'm going to implement this, and in this implementation, we will see what lazy loading is. And we are going to make use of IntelliTrack track window that we saw just now. And that window is available only once we go for debugging. See that. So once we go for debugging, at that time we'll have access to that IntelliTrack track window. Now, let us see. I'll double click on check and I'll say where for that I need the object of this. And I'll say where result equals to OE dot EBL department dot where x gives rise to x dot active is equals to checkbox active dot check so if it is checked then i'll get all the active departments if it is unchecked then i'll get all the active I'll set dot to list. So I'm going for immediate mode of execution. I'll just simply say for each where departments in result and I'm going to display the departments which are inactive. So I'll simply copy this line of code. Just from here, I'll just comment out this loop. Save all and I'll execute it. If I check on active and say search. I get active departments that is development, testing, and PDB. So these are the three active departments. If I uncheck this and search, I get QA and admin. That means these two are inactive departments. Now, what I want is I want all the employees belonging to this particular department that is D. So what is that I can do? I can go for one more for each loop and I can definitely use the concept of navigation properties that we learned in our earlier video. So I can say where employee and say D dot TBL employees. That means it will give me all the employees related to that particular now I'll say response dot write emp dot email. That means I want to display only names. Save this and execute this. Now I'll say search. If you observe, I get QA and all the employees belonging to QA that is Tati, Fussy and Rathi and next is admin and all the employees belonging to admin now I'll put a breakpoint and look into the Intelli track window Now let me see how many hits it is making to the database. This is my entry track window. I'll say F10. So definitely it is going to execute 
reader that is it is going to hit to the database to get all the departments where active is equal to whatever the value I get from the checkbox the F10. so one hit the queries are visible here or available here so this is the query that it is hitting or this is the query that is getting executed at this point of time I have the F5 F10 anyway it is not going to execute any query here why because we set to list here and it is immediate mode now let us observe at this point of time that is for each it has executed one more query that means to get all the employees of that department it is executing a query with where clause where department id equals to the value i get it from department table so that is the second hit to the database so till now we had two hits now another department and this is the third hit so for each and every department it is going to take the department id and write a query on employee table and hit the database and get that record so what we saw is that we had three hits to the database and we get the result now i'll just go back to my organization model and the designer class and here in your organization entities class you have a constructor in this constructor there is a property that is set to true that is lazy loading enabled is true now i'll make it to false and save this i'm going to execute this As a search, I'm getting only department names. I'm not at all getting any employees in that department. I'm getting department names. That's it. Now I'll put a breakpoint and let's check the execution once again and let us see how many queries it is executing on the database. say f10 10 so this is the usual as usual the query that we executed earlier earlier it was hitting the database at this point but here there is no hit so earlier by default it is executing a select query on database employee table with where clause and department id equals to the value whatever we get from the department table so if you observe this it is not at all hitting database at this point of time that is when we are iterating through employee table so we get that feature hitting database at this point of time only once we have lazy loading enabled but the problem is that it was hitting database three times so if i have 100 departments so what is that it is going to do it is going to get all 100 departments here and for each department it is going to hit the database get all the records of that particular department and display here and for the second department it is going to hit the database again that means it is going to hit the database 100 times for each department and one time to get all the department that is one not one times but here it is hitting only once the problem here is that if it is hitting only once we are not getting the employees so to do that we need to go for eager loading we call it as eager loading that is 
after getting all the records from the departments i should say dot include whatever you need from the tables that are related to the department table that is tbl emp now let me execute this i'll search the records and i'll say f10 and let us see the query that is going to prepare to hit the table at this point of time so here we get the select query and this query is little different when we compare to our earlier query now i'll say f5 that means till now it has hit the database only once as f10 earlier it was hitting the database even at this point but now there is no hit to the database and it is also reading all the employees that means it is also getting all the records now say f5 i get the same information but with a single hit to the database so this is your eager loading that means the difference is if you set lazy loading enabled to true it is making n number of hits to the database if you set it to false it will make a single hit with a single query but be sure that there are many situations where single query is much more heavier than multiple queries so it all depends on your requirement and on your analysis to proceed either with lazy loading enabled true or lazy loading enabled to false we also call it as eager loading so that's it this is all about your lazy loading hope you might have enjoyed this video thank you very much